Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily K. Mane. In this quick story, I'm going to be teaching you why you are not making money from your blog. I'm the founder of entrepreneurbusinessblog.com, a blog where I dedicate to teaching you how to start, manage, and grow your business. So I've been blogging for quite some time. I think this is roughly seven years now that I've been doing professional blogging. And I want to show you what has worked for me and what you can do to also grow your blog. So if you are struggling with making money from your blog, chances are you are making any of these three mistakes and it will definitely keep you poor if you continue to make the mistakes. So I'm going to be showing you a quick things you can do in your blog right now to start growing that particular blog. It will definitely skyrocket your growth if you implement what I'm going to be teaching you. Please, if this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel so that you can see this video and other videos that I'll be posting on a weekly basis. Also do me a favor by turning on the uh, notification by clicking on the bell icon. Turn on your notification by clicking on the bell icon so that anytime I release new videos, you will see it as a notification in your YouTube account. Do me that favor. And also please do not forget to give this video, this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it. That is exactly the way YouTube algorithm works. By the time you give a thumbs up to this video, more people will see it. YouTube will show this video to other people who are interested in growing their blog. So in this tutorial, you are going to be learning three things you can do in your blog right now to grow it. Let's get right into it. All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be learning three things that can keep a blogger poor. If you are making any of these three mistakes, your blog is never going to grow. The first point is wrong search intent. If you are creating a blog post and you are using wrong search intent, you are likely going, you are likely not going to grow that particular blog. Wrong, wrong search intent means that you are trying to target two people at the same time or two to three people at the same time. People who are looking for how to make money online and people are looking for job opportunities. These are two different people. When they go online to search for information, their search intent are not the same. If someone is looking for a way to start a business, an online business, and you are showing the person jobs, how to get a job, the person might not likely take action. And even if they take action, they will not stay long on your blog because you are trying to combine two different people in the same blog. Their search intent are not the same. And when people go online to search for something, there are chances that they are going online to learn. They just want to learn about a particular subject. We call that informational search intent. There's also chances that the person is just going online to find a direct link to a particular website. Let's say the person goes online to type Facebook. The person is actually looking for a link that will direct the person to the actual facebook.com. Maybe he doesn't know whether it's .com or .co or .org. So he goes online to type Facebook. That is the search intent there is called navigational search intent. But if the person goes online to search for information, how to make soup, how to make soap. That's informational search intent. The person is not looking for how to buy soap, how to make baby soap. The person is looking for information on how to make baby soap so that they can learn, not information on where to buy baby soap. Where to buy baby soap has to do with commercial through transactional search intent or how much does a baby soap cost? If someone types such information on Google, the person is doing what we call transactional search intent. It means the person has the intention to buy something. He has the intention to buy something, but does not know where exactly they can find that product. So they go on Google to type where to buy baby soup or how much does it cost to buy baby soup or where can I buy baby soup at an affordable price? The person is looking for information that will lead to a purchase. So when you create your content, always tie it around a particular search intent. The best form of information you see on Google are always informational search intent. It doesn't mean that you will not promote your products, 
but you have to start by first educating them. You have to first of all educate the audience before you can recommend the product. So when you use the wrong search intent, it makes it very difficult for you to get the audience you are looking for. It makes it difficult for people to actually take action on whatever you are promoting. The second point is targeting the wrong audience. When you target the wrong audience, you will not make money from your blog. Wrong audience here has to do with in terms of age, in terms of demography, uh, in terms of uh, uh, location. These are the things you look at when it comes to wrong audience. Location, age, professional certification or background. What again? The keywords they are looking for. So let's look at it from this perspective. Let's say I have a blog that speaks to only teenagers. What is the purchasing power of teenagers? Your guess is as good as mine. Their purchasing power is very low. And if you are sending them informational content, educating content, very minute number of them will buy into it. You might get a couple of people that will be interested in buying it, but you will not get the desired result. You will not get the kind of money that will help you to run your blog successfully. So even though you want to speak to the teenagers, the best people to target are their parents. So you have to speak to their parents because the parents are the ones that have the purchasing power to buy. So speaking to the wrong audience can hinder you from making money from your blog. When you speak to the wrong audience, they might not buy from you. They might like your blog. They might visit your blog. They might even share it, but they, they will never buy something from you. And you will not likely get companies interested in what you are doing for you to get paid through sponsored posts. So go for niche that has higher CPC. Higher CPC here has to do with cost per click. How much are people paying for advertising in that niche? If the amount they are paying per click is high, it means that there is money in the industry. If the amount they are paying is low, it means that there is less money in the industry in terms of advertising. And for you as a blogger, you get paid when others advertise. If nobody is promoting something through your platform, you are not going to get paid. So you need to look for niches where people are spending money. People are spending money on the internet. That's often why we, we don't recommend some niches and why we recommend some niches over the other because of the purchasing power of people in that niche. And the third one is poor traffic. If you are not getting enough traffic from your blog, chances are you are not going to make money from that blog. So do yourself a favor. Promote your blog. The moment you publish a blog post, don't just relent. Share the blog post on Facebook. Start building backlinks back to the blog post. Talk about it. Do YouTube videos like this and link to it. Do all you can to talk about it. Use all the platforms you have access to. Telegram, your email list, Facebook, social, uh, all, plans, all social media platforms, Pinterest and the rest of them to promote that particular blog post. And make sure that particular blog post is indexed on search engine so that you'll be getting traffic from search engine platforms like Bing, Google, and the rest of them. So these are the three things you can do in your blog to start making money. So if you are not doing this, this is probably the reason why you are not making money from your blog. Like I said earlier, if this is your first time of watching my video, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, Turn on your notification by clicking on the bell icon. Like this video so that more people will see this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Remember, my name is Emily Kemane. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.